Hi everybody, it's Melinda. So nice being here with you today. So nice to have a smile on my face, finally. Uh, so I wanna to talk to you a little bit about grieving and what that looks like for you and how to best honor yourself around it. Um, I have a little poll attached to this video. How do you best show up for yourself when grieving? <laughs> um, I have uh, joined a very powerful program. I'm gonna show you, ooh, banging the uh, video there. Look at this, look at this. Oh, can you see it? <gasps> Practitioner in training through Mile High Church. So basically what that means is I have been studying the last two and a half years uh, to get all my prerequisites done and I am now in a two-year program to learn to be a practitioner uh, through the Centers of Spiritual Living. And so what I'm learning basically is how to know the truth for myself as well as others because, you know, we're all connected, we're all one. And if I, in my consciousness, in a very high place of consciousness, can know the truth for myself or anyone else, then uh, the things begin to shift and change for myself and others. It's very powerful. And in that process, uh, I have definitely been going through a very, deep cleanse <laughs> and have been bumping into parts of myself that I was completely unaware of. And, and in this process, I find myself grieving, grieving a lot, lots and lots of stuff that have been um, forgotten about, honestly, didn't even know they were there. So, so I've really been very intimately involved in grieving lately. And several people that I work with, friends and clients also too, have been grieving. And what I want to invite you to consider is honoring yourself and holding that uh, process with such sacredness. Uh, it is the general... Um, what I see people doing outside of the grieving process is, oh, come on, let's go out, let's go do something, let's go, you know, let's go get in the sunshine, let's go see some something beautiful, let's go, let's go. And so people will try to pull you out of the process. And that just speaks to their level of understanding and their level of comfort with grief. I say dive in. Dive into it. Really allow yourself to be in the all of it because with it comes a full spectrum of feelings. It is the entire spectrum of feelings. It's like it's what we're here to do in our human experience is to feel. And how often are we just kind of narrowing down the spectrum, the bandwidth of what we're allowing ourselves to feel? And, and often I had a conversation with a friend this week, even feeling too good, too happy, too joyful is not okay. That's not safe. So we got to keep it in this bandwidth of this is okay to feel. And anything too high and bright and light, no, 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 no. Or anything too heavy, dark, sad, or angry, no, 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 no. And I say, start opening up that frequency, that, that bandwidth that you're willing to allow yourself to drop into. And it might look a little messy. Grief does that. It's the full spectrum. And it's not to say that it's the ugly cry the whole time. No, absolutely not. It can be moments of really deep peace, really joyful moments. I remember a friend passing away years ago and in our celebration memorial dinner for him, we laughed so hard. My ribs hurt for days. Like that was our way of grieving and celebrating him too. And so it comes in waves. And being willing to allow yourself to move with the waves and kind of go with it. It's like body surfing. And if you rigid up, if you tighten up and get rigid, then the waves are going to come crashing and push you around. But if you allow yourself to go with the sadness, with the loss, with the hurt, the anger, the joy, the, the sweetness, the, the sentimental moments, if you allow yourself to go with the process, oh, it's going to go so much easier. And then really going into those places whew, like a pioneer and let yourself really just feel in and drop into them. 
so I had a profound experience this week. Just wow, I opened up into something that I didn't even know was there. And it was about a three day almost solid, sorry, CJ, a solid, ugly cry of just a constant, such harsh feelings of loss and grief and sense of failure and letting go of what I had hold held on to as a hope for myself for my life and realizing that's not what's going to happen that's not what happened and letting go of my dream oh so much grief in that and this sense of failure was really where I landed into the who oh, I didn't know that was there and allowing 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 so the greatest, most honoring thing you can do when grieving is give yourself permission to be exactly as you are. And if you're not feeling anything, you're not feeling anything. You haven't touched into it yet. That's fine. If you find yourself in this desperate moment of distracting yourself, uh, my cue that something's on the move is I get desperate into my uh, distractions. And I noticed I was going to Starbucks twice a day three times a day for a few days and I'm like something's on the move I'm like okay I see my behavior I see that I'm avoiding and I allowed myself to just get a little more still allowed myself the Starbucks and I allowed myself to just drop in a little deeper into the feelings and then voila opened up this really old thing and after the three days of ugly cry, I'm happy to say, I feel such peace inside. I feel like I found a 2,000 square foot storage unit within myself that I had no idea I had all of that stuff shoved into it. And now that the door got opened and it got emptied out, I have all the spaciousness in me and I feel peaceful. And there was a lot of reactivity that was coming from that place that was driving a lot of odd behavior. <laughs> Again, sorry, CJ. <laughs> and now that reactivity has gone too. And so it's a way to come into knowing ourselves, this willingness to drop in, to be with those feelings. And honestly, some of you may not really be ready to drop into that on your own. It would be nice to have someone go into those places with you, someone who can honor the sacredness of that place, the holiness of it. Uh, I was with a friend uh, just the other day who said, I died that day. I lost everything. My life ended that day. And you know, here they are sitting in front of me. It's like, well, no, obviously not. You're sitting right here. But to, to that person, that reality was so real and they needed someone to meet them in that. So I did. I'm like, okay, let's just honor everything got lost that day. Your life ended that day. And in that honoring, there was a softening and a letting go. And then coming into, okay, yeah, I'm here. And then they could begin to acknowledge the reality of what is. But sometimes we got to meet ourselves right where we're at, even in the crazy thinking, even in the distorted thinking. It's okay. It's perfectly okay. So my practice is all about helping people move through difficult experiences whether it's a one-time event or an ongoing series of events um, being neglected abused you name it um, grief loss i'm here to help you orient to what you're experiencing to normalize the experience and to help you move through those difficult feelings give you some tools to really really successfully get through these feelings so that you can go into that place of spaciousness that place of peace and and let go of the reactivity so if you're looking for some help hi I'm Melinda I am the healing outfitter I'm here to walk you through that journey to gear you up and to ensure that you have a successful trek so much love to you and my heart just goes out to all of you who are in one form or another grieving a recent loss feeling a place within yourself that just has been forgotten Whatever it is, I'm here to celebrate you too and know your truth.
for you until you can know it for yourself. All right. Much, much love to you all. Thank you for showing up for all of those of you who joined in. Hello. Many, many blessings to you as you trek out into your weekend. Enjoy it. We'll talk very soon. Bye-bye.